and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo. We're here at the Cameron Los Angeles show in West Hollywood. I'm with Jennifer Whalen with her movie, Boat People, Life on Latch Island. Let's take a look at a clip. Jennifer, congratulations on your film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your film inspired me so much, I'm going to leave my job and I'm going to go live on this island that is so <laughs> incredible. Um, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Okay, so Life on Latch Island is about uh, a community of 120 people. Mm -hmm. uh, about 10 to 15 live there year round mm -hmm. in the harsh Minnesota winter. Uh, even though the, the film takes place in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's a, just a feel-good little video mm -hmm. on the quirky characters that, yeah. that live there. They're amazing. I mean, they're like amazing people, like the amazing group of people. Where did the inspiration come into in creating this story? So my dad owns a, a boat there. He's uh -huh. never lived there. Uh, he's owned a boat there ever since I was maybe eight or nine-ish. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So I never knew anyone that lived there when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. But um, I did my senior photography project on Latch Island with photos um, and I haven't visited since then. And I thought that this was a, a fun way to... Um, revisit the place and, mm -hmm. and do it in a in a video format and that's so. why it's visually so beautiful to watch now because you come from a photographic background i see so that's that's yeah. interesting because it really yeah, was I, I'm a, a photographer see that's why it looks so beautiful like when you watch this film i just felt like i was watching just like beautiful images that were just moving which is moving image i guess but you know it was really beautiful <laughs> to watch um you had some amazing characters i mean you can't you you, you couldn't even create those characters in, in, a, in a sitcom. They were so brilliant. Like, you know, how did, you know, going through they're the journey. They're entertaining. They're so entertaining. <laughs> and going through the journey of meeting them, did you have specific people that you'd met along the way? Like, yeah, I think we need to have you in the film or we have you. Be, was there certain people that you kind of found or how willing were they to like want to be part of this journey with you as well? Okay, so uh, I, I, there was no research mm -hmm. to this film. I. S this was a kind of a, a personal little challenge for me mm -hmm. to just show up with my camera. Um, I also, you know, did this film with uh, Daniel Zhu, mm -hmm. who's a, a good friend of mine. We do a lot of work together. Mm -hmm. uh, it, so it was it was a a personal challenge uh, on our part to just show up, meet who we were going to meet, and shoot this in like a day and a half. Did it in a day so, and a half? Yeah. That's fantastic, yeah. wow. Um, what, I mean, listen, I mean, you know, it's hard enough doing, making movies on land, let alone on boats and things. <laughs> um, what was the biggest challenge that you had encountering making this documentary? Uh, the place was quite flooded when we were there. We were there um, September. Mm -hmm. And the, the place was just, it was, I don't know if that's if that was really a challenge. I'm from Minnesota, so I deal with all kinds of oh, weather. Oh, you're used to it, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so I don't think too much of mm -hmm. something when you know they're, they're, when the weather is when it's raining or mm -hmm. snowing or it's just kind of normal. So I think the biggest challenge though was just uh, getting people to agree to be on camera, kind yeah. of on the fly, just. It, it helped that my, my dad, they knew my dad. Yeah. That, 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 that was huge. Yeah. So I had an in. Yeah. Uh, had I just shown up and they, you know, had I not been from the mm -hmm. area, I don't think anyone would have talked to me. They're very reclusive. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the most part, these people are isolationists. Mm -hmm. They're not very, they don't want a lot of outs outsiders mm -hmm. coming in, journalists coming in. And, mm -hmm and filming them. They're very, very private people. So you had that, obviously, trust is a really important thing as a documentary yeah, filmmaker, yeah. and the fact that obviously you knew your family, and, and you know that was a big a key factor for you mm -hmm. as well. 
What's it like then? I mean, especially you as a photographer, I love that you just went in there with a camera and just made this film. What is it like yeah. to then have your film, a new filmmaker's LA, have it in front of an audience, like letting the M into the world that, that you, you, you kind of encountered? What was that feeling like? Well, it got a really good response on online. Mm -hmm. uh, I uploaded it to mm -hmm. social media and mm -hmm. it got a really good response there. And then it was really helpful for me to see it on a much, much bigger screen. Mm -hmm. I could see what images worked mm -hmm. on, a, on a bigger screen. Because not everything works, you know, you go from a screen this big to... Yeah. It, it was visually, it was really helpful for yeah. me to see that. And... Um, and yeah, just the response, like just hearing what people were laughing at or mm -hmm. not laughing at, mm -hmm. so. What's next for you? So I've been back a couple of times to mm -hmm. film, um, but really the it, it intrigued me to do, to kind of research more about off the grid, because these people are living off the grid. Mm -hmm. um, that wasn't in the description, but half mm -hmm. of these people live completely off the grid. And I've become more and more intrigued by the ingenuity mm -hmm. of these little hacks that they do to, mm -hmm. to uh, you know, some do it a little better than others. Yeah. Um, and some, those that, ha that do it really well, they didn't want to be on camera, yeah. very private. Yeah. Uh, and I really wish that I could have gotten some of those people on mm -hmm. camera because they are very inspiring. Mm -hmm. In, in how to, I mean, that's, that's educational. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would like this to progress into a more educational yeah. route and, and do a video on how to live off the grid in mm -hmm. a very sustainable way. I think, it's, I think it's really fascinating what yeah. you've created. I mean, there's so many different communities uh, mm -hmm. in the United States live in different yeah. pockets, different ways of up living and, and cultures. And it's it's actually quite beautiful mm -hmm. just to see the great communities of the United States that we have, but also people that do, you know, live off the grid, like you say. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, thank you for your vision as a filmmaker to, to, to capture that. Um, I kind of want to, I do want to be a boat person. I, I won't <laughs> lie. I was, enjoy, I was enjoying it very, very much. And um, thank you so much for sharing your great vision. You're welcome. I really look, for, much, look forward to seeing much more of your work as well. Thank you. So thank you, Jennifer. Thank you.